Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Uh, so today I am going to explain one more interview question, which is uh, very recently it was asked to one of our uh, participants. Question: The question is, can we replace the non-leading ledger with extension ledger? So here prerequisite is you must have idea about both the ledgers concept, the non-leading ledger, which is part of our standard ledger, and uh, another one is your extension ledger, which is newly introduced in S4. So the question is, can we replace the non-leading ledger with extension ledger? Just think, what would be the answer? So the answer will be no. We are not going to replace extension ledger, non-leading ledger with extension ledger because you have to understand both are having its own uh, requirement. So first we have to understand what is the use of standard ledger because non-leading ledger is part of your standard ledger only. So the ledger that contains full set of configurations which mostly we are using for our operation purpose and uh, that is our standard ledger. So under this standard ledger we have two ledgers are there which is your leading ledger as well as non-leading ledger. So let's not focus on the leading ledger because we are already familiar leading ledger. Let's focus on the non-leading ledger. In which situation we are going to use non-leading ledger? Uh, like your leading ledger, non-leading ledgers are also standard ledgers. So that means this non-leading ledgers you are going to use in operation. For example, let's say we are going to use one more depreciation area for a requirement then we are going to use non-leading ledger let's say we have operation in another country and along with leading ledger we need to have one more non-leading ledger and uh, let's say we have uh, some specific accounting principle we want to adopt let's a local gap in that case also we are going to use non-leading ledger so non-leading ledger just like your leading ledger non-leading ledger we are going to use but we have some limitations with our non-leading ledger I, I guess you are familiar with that so problem with the non-leading ledger let's say in the mid of the year we want to add the non-leading ledger then it is not possible so in a productivity company uh, in a production company code you can't add the non-leading ledger or let's say if any general postings will be there then duplicate entries will be there so that is why initially SAP introduced this delta ledger because it is also known as your delta ledger that is extension ledger so when you are going for uh, you, when additionally we need some uh, ledgers and uh, particularly we are going to use for the delta purpose so uh, let's say additional views required or let's say some uh, specific accounting principle point of view we are going to use and mid of the year we can add it and good thing is that with extension ledger there will be no duplication of data I will show you practically in the system some extension ledger so uh, uh, that was the main uh, benefit when you are going to use extension ledger in fact uh, when SAP introduced this extension ledger before that they named as appendix ledger and initially they introduced this one for uh, your uh, FICO adjustment point of view because uh, we know that when you are going for any reposting and all reposting of cost so that time it is not possible to add one more ledger in the mid of the year so that is why initially it was introduced but later in uh, other versions SAP keep adding different new uh, uh, functions with this extension ledger but that does not mean that we are going to replace the extension ledger or non leading ledgers with extension ledger so basically extension ledgers are delta ledgers or extension ledger and another thing when you are going to use extension ledger always you have one underlying ledger so extension ledgers always you have underlying ledger for example if I am going to use one extension ledger and let's say my extension ledger is n2 so then you have to use here one standard ledger for example I have taken here standard ledger as leading ledger so it may be leading ledger or it may be non leading ledger as per the need you need to think what will be our standard ledger we are going to use but it is not independent ledger like your non leading ledger so that is why you have to always go with one standard ledger so always it will carry one standard ledger and it will be assigned as your underlying ledger and whatever the postings we are going to post with the underlying ledger for example if it is a ledger specific posting if we are going to post with ledger n2 then it will not flow to your leading ledger whereas if we are going to post something to the leading ledger although document will not be there but it will also update for your n2 so that is why we are saying that it is our delta entry okay so the posting to the extension ledger if you are going to post like for example it's a, a b50l entry we are posting then that only apply to the extension ledger so reporting on the display when you are going to check the report so that time we have to take the general entries which are related to leading ledger because if we will go to uh, ledger entries uh, for example let, let's check this one in the system 
right so this is my uh, ledger view and uh, i'm going to select here my extension ledger so let's say extension ledger is n2 and if i will check my report for this extension ledger any transaction let's say for example let's this account now let's take this account i think you will get more clarity here ha huh, right so if we'll check this document if we'll check uh, this document now this is a general entry Now, if you we'll check this document, you will find that this document it is a general posting. This this document, so document number one zero zero one and one zero zero three. So when I'm going to post any specific transactions to one triple zero three, of course my leading ledger is going to update, but and also it is going to update my extension ledger too. That's why you can see the extension ledger it is updated here. Now this is your delta entry because uh, this is a general entry, but I want to see the delta entry. Now this one is your delta entry this 82000 document if we'll see this is which i am i have used for a reposting purpose now this is your delta entry now this one we can't do with our non reading ledger because i may we can use the non reading ledger but any point of time if you need the non reading ledger then in that case it is not possible but in this case extension ledger is beneficial so we can adopt or we can add this extension ledger any point of time and we can use it as per our need and good thing is that with extension ledger when i'm posting a general entry now if i will check this document number 1003 you will find this 1003 document is updated with my leading ledger let me search the document number 1003 in our universal journal or ac docket table so i will search here n2 that is my extension ledger the company code and document number 1003 so in report it is there and now i'm going to check in my ac docket table so you can see here it is not there so that means in this case duplicate document it is not posted but it is there in the report and this is one other benefit but if i will check this document number 82000 then you will get that that document if we'll check in the ac docket i will show you what is that 82000 document but if we will check that we will get it in our universal journal now you can see this extension ledger exclusive entry is there and how i got this document so that means in controlling i used here the reposting so i did some cost reposting and uh, i have used here extension ledger next question why i use cost reposting maybe in a different period for example let's say one uh, in a close period controlling point of view if there is a close period and uh, i i want to do some reposting then in that case we can use extension ledger because we know that whenever we are going to do something in controlling so with reference to my co document i am going to have a finance document now in this case if my finance periods are already closed then how we, i will generate that particular document so in that case we can use extension ledger now benefit of extension ledger is any point of time we can add it and secondly when i need it actually that time i can use it when i don't need so it is not going to generate my duplicate data and whenever it is required i i can use it so if exclusively if it is a manual posting or like this if you are going to use then in that case we can have the actual document in our ac docket table otherwise there will be no document and only your reports will be or it is will be there so in this particular uh, gl in this particular uh, gl master so when i will check the report so that time we have to take all the data so we have to take the general entries plus we have to take the delta entries so combinedly we have to check the report and that is why it is known as your delta questions and uh, here another uh, problem with this extension ledger it's not like we are only having the uh, benefits with the extension ledger so this extension ledger is going to inherits all the data from your standard ledger so whatever the standard ledgers we are going to use for example this extension ledger i am using or having the underlying ledger as 0l as my standard ledger now whatever my fiscal year variant for this one same will be applicable here whatever my currency that is also applicable here you can't take any different currency settings you can't take any different fiscal year variant but uh, what we can change we can change posting period variant we can change any Uh, accounting principle also that also we can change but we can't change any fiscal year variant and posting period i did a comparison also with leading ledger with non leading ledger and extension ledger you can see uh, this uh, table 
So if we are going to use any standard ledger, for example, let's say non-leading ledger, can we have a different set of currencies with your leading ledger and non-leading ledger? It is possible. So we can have a different currency settings. Means um, here, for example, let's say we are using a currency settings like 10, 30, Z1, Z2. Z1, Z2, my freely definable currency. And in case of non-leading ledger, I can take 10 and 30 it is possible we can take it can we have a different fiscal year possible so we can use k4 for fiscal year variant for my leading ledger and v3 for non-leading ledger that is also possible uh, different posting period variant possible different accounting principle possible so in case of non-leading ledger everything is possible so we can say independent ledger just like your non-leading ledger which we can use in our operation but if it is extensive ledger then you can see most of the things are not possible can we have a different currencies no so it will take only those data that means it is going to inherit the data from your leading ledger or whatever underlying ledger same fiscal year variant you can't have but you can take two different fiscal year variants but of course a different posting period variant we can use and that is the benefit of using extension ledger so in a closed period we can do the required adjustments we can have a different accounting principles and we can have a <coughs> different comp company code assignment so in this case extension ledger is uh, possible and another benefit is it is going to reduce the data footprint for example if we are going to post a general document and let's say a document generated document number one triple zero three and let's say we have two ledgers so we have leading ledger and non-leading ledger so it is going to update in both the ledgers but simultaneously if you have one extension ledger also updated then this document is not going to update with this extension ledger but in report it will be there but in table it will not be there so that is why when i check the document number one triple zero three with our extension ledger before some time it was not there so this is the benefit of data reduction so that means till now we made it balance that uh, we may use extension ledger in most of the cases uh, if it is the same financial year if it is a different financial year then it is not possible then where we can't use it there are all also a couple of other use are there for your extension ledger uh, before that let me show you that uh, document number uh, you can see this ppt so that 82000 document which was uh, there uh, in report sometime before i was showing so this document i got as i did some repostings so you can see this document which is there in the table this document 82000 so how this document generated with reference to my internal document 1003 so this is one reconciliation document which is generated so with reference to 1003 document and it is there and uh, this document exclusively with our extension ledger so in a different period we can post it we, with a different period we can uh, use it so at the time of need we can use it otherwise it is not going to generate the document uh, du duplicate document will not be there so that is why it is going to reduce the data footprint next question where other scenarios where we can use the extension ledger so extension ledger we can also use in our predictive accounting so when management point of view the moment we it is part of actually margin analysis when you are going to have uh, sales order in our margin analysis we want to see a report like with reference to sales order i want to see what will be the inflow revenues uh, i want to see the cost i want to see the balance sheet item so this is one fury uh, uh, application screenshot so here with reference to that extension ledger also we can get it this is also another category of extension ledger particularly you can see this is n3 in this example which i have taken this is also one extension ledger in this case also you can use and foreign currency valuation point of view you can use so in some specific area we are going to use use extension ledger like uh, one scenario i have shown here that we can use it during our fico adjustment during predictive accounting and in foreign currency also we can use and sometimes if there is a requirement of ledger specific posting we may use that doesn't mean that can we replace our non reading ledger no the answer is no so it is not replacement of your standard ledger because in lot maximum cases extension ledgers are not possible for example asset accounting integration it is not possible so no integration with asset accounting you can't use it it is not possible to use this one in our open item management they are also not possible wherever it is related to operation if any document related to operation for example customer invoice 
invoice, vendor invoice, any operation point of view, you can't use the extension ledger. So we can say we, we will make a balance of both extension ledger as well as standard ledger. So it does not mean that it is going to replace your non-reading ledger. Definitely it is going to reduce the use of non-reading ledger. Like initially, in uh, we may use, let's say, for our requirement non-reading ledger we may use but uh, if you are going to use non-reading ledger again throughout the year unnecessary lots of duplicate data will be there and second thing at the time of need you can't add it so we have to wait for year end and we can use it so that is uh, another benefit we can say if we are going to use extension ledger just any time you can use it but that doesn't mean that mean that it is replacement of your standard ledger so in interview if your question is like whether it is a replacement so answer is 100 percent not the replacement of standard ledger so we need standard ledger and also we need non-reading uh, our extension ledger so both ledgers will be there at the time of need or as per the business requirement we will see which ledger we are going to uh, introduce here so i hope you got uh, some idea related to uh, the use of extension ledger if you have some questions related to extension ledger feel free to add in the comments and i will answer that one thank you very much